welcome to the 2015 Firearms Local School District State of the Schools. I appreciate you coming out this evening. This presentation will be videotaped and placed on our website for future viewing as we've done in years past. So again, I thank you for coming out this evening. Our goal this evening is to essentially enlighten our community members and district in regards to the great things that the Firearms Local School District is doing. We provide supports to improve and continue excellence in the Firearms Local Schools in relation to Ohio's new learning standards, next generation academic programming, new alternative assessment models, and the Ohio teacher evaluation systems as measured by student growth and personalized learning. That's one of our keys here. We are striving to personalize learning for all of our students. In our pursuit of doing that, we work on a premise of student growth and achievement. Four pillars to that. Focus on teacher quality. Clear learning targets posted in every classroom with descriptive and effective feedback from our teaching faculty. Next generation learning. We are enabling students to be collaborative, critical thinkers who communicate and are creative in all of their endeavors. And we work on analysis of student data by key stakeholders to redesign instruction to maximize student growth, which is a key. Data has to drive all of your decisions. In this pursuit, we focus on relationships. This enables us to relate back to our vision and passion, our culture, our resources, our family and community engagement, and our leadership skills. By tying those key issues together in building relationships with our community, we are better able to serve the firearms community. This video from Sir Kent Robinson focuses on the premise of personalized learning, and I thought it greatly applied to the direction that the Firewalls Local School District is headed. It is a very brief clip, but it speaks to what is personalized learning and how can personalized learning help us move our students forward. So many people are opting out of education is because it doesn't feed their spirit. It doesn't feed their energy or their passion. So I think we have to change metaphors. We have to go from what is essentially an industrial model of education, a manufacturing model, which is based on linearity and conformity and batching people. We have to move to a model that is based more on principles of agriculture. We have to recognize that human flourishing is not a mechanical process, it's an organic process. And you cannot predict the outcome of human development. All you can do is, like a farmer, is create the conditions under which they will begin to flourish. So when we look at reforming education and transforming it, it isn't like cloning a system. There are great ones, like KIPS, it's a great system. There are many great um, models. It's about customizing them to your circumstances and personalizing education to the people you're actually teaching. And doing that, I think, is the answer to the future because it's not about scaling a new solution. It's about creating a movement in education in which people develop their own solutions, but with external support based on a personalized curriculum. Now, in this room, there are people who represent extraordinary resources in business, in multimedia, uh, in the internet. These technologies, combined with extraordinary talents of teachers, provide an opportunity to revolutionize education. And I urge you to get involved in it, because it's vital not just to ourselves, but to the future of our children. But we have to change from the industrial model to an agricultural model where each school can be flourishing tomorrow. That's where children experience life, or at home if that's where they choose to be educated with their families or their friends. And every day, everywhere, our children spread their dreams beneath our feet. And we should tread softly. Thank you. As Sir Ken Robinson states, our students come to school ready to learn. Our students come to school with dreams. Our students come to school with a love for school and for education. It is our responsibility as teachers, as educators, to personalize our learning so that these students do not lose that love of learning, that love of school. That is our goal in the Firewall Schools. We aim to personalize our academic programming for each student to ensure that they are successful in a 21st century learning environment. It is clear to me that research shows approximately 50% of the jobs 
for our students who are currently in kindergarten have not been created yet. Think about that fact that jobs have not, they don't exist. Therefore, how as, can we as educators change our model of delivery and our model of education to ensure that our students are prepared to be successful in those jobs? The agenda for this evening, uh, I'm going to speak about our accomplishments and our enrollment. I'm then going to turn it over to Mr. McCracken and he can speak about finance. At that point, we'll take any questions that people might have. Accomplishments, the district has many. I like to label us as a triple A school district. We focus on three, three things, academics, arts, and athletics. We want to have well-rounded students, and we will. The district report card, our performance <laughs> index, places in the range of a B with a score of 102.7 this year. This placed us fourth of 14 public schools in Lorain County and fourth of 23 all schools in the county, including charters and community schools. We are 172nd of the 610 public schools in the state of Ohio, placing us almost in the top quarter of all schools. And 172 of 881 all school districts, including community schools, which places us in the top 20% in the state. We met 21 of 24 indicators this year. The Ohio Department of Education raised the grade to 80% in each of the indicator areas. We therefore fell short in three of the areas and have worked to address those issues this year and will be successful. Our annual measurable objectives was a grade of B. Our value added, how far did we move the students forward, how much did they grow, was a grade of A. This places a sixth of 14 schools in Lorain County that are public, and six of 23 of all schools in the county. Our four-year graduation rate is an A, and our five-year graduation rate is a B. We are close to an A in the five-year graduation rate, which is difficult. It's a cohort system that is somewhat flawed in its delivery. The Firelands Endowment is something we're very proud of. Each year, we grant money to educators for classroom initiatives, as well as students for scholarships. $27,000 was awarded in teacher grants this year, and approximately $22,000 was awarded in student scholarships last year, with 40 students receiving scholarships. We are in the process right now of reviewing applications for scholarships for this year for the endowment. We have increased course offerings at Firelands High School. For the 15-16 school year, we will offer honors physical science, honors biology, and honors chemistry. Classes that help our students achieve the skills necessary to be successful in the 21st century environment. We currently offer English 1, Algebra, Geometry, World Histories, English 2, and Algebra 2. New for 16-17, we will add an advanced placement chemistry class. And we are very proud of the next item. For 15-16, we've added several on-campus dual enrollment courses through the College Credit Plus program through Lorain County Community College. We are adding LCCC English 161 and 162, Math 171 and 172. We currently offer Government, Anatomy and Physiology 121 and 122, U.S. History 1 and 2. With the addition of the two additional courses in English and Math, we are providing our students with the ability to leave Firelands High School with multiple college credits. No money, no money excuse me, out of the pockets of parents. A fantastic accomplishment. Music education. We were recognized as one of the best communities for music education again this year. This is the third year in a row that Firelands has received that. We have multiple state performance recognitions by our students. Our school is a 2015 Grammy Signature School semifinalist, so we do excel in the arts. In addition, multiple local and state recognitions for student artwork and several Young Authors Award winners. Over the last several years, we have had several of our students recognized as the top Young Authors in Athletics. We offer an array of athletics in the district. We're very proud of our athletic programs. We have 14 sports at the high school and three activities for a total of 30 teams. 
386 students, 63% of our high school population participates in athletics. At South Amherst Middle School, we have seven sports and two activities for a total of 16 teams. 247 participants, a 58% of our student population participating. In addition to that, we have won several league titles. Our coaches have been recognized as league and county coaches of the year. We are very proud of the program. Our athletic director, Mr. Seawright, does a fantastic job. One of our pillars of excellence. In terms of community service, Firelands gives back to the community. South Amherst Middle School, each year they give Thanksgiving meals to the needy. 25 families were served this year. They clean up the cemetery each year. They have an outdoor adventure camp in Beulah Beach where they do community service in terms of cleaning the beaches. At the high school, we have the Teen Leadership Corps, the Toy Drive, Anti-Texting and Driving Campaign, Harvest for America, the FFA Christmas Family Project, and Candlelight Benefit Genesis House, all examples of the character education that we attempt to instill and promote into our students. In terms of operations, Firelands is a 94 square mile district. We serve approximately 1,772 students, including 323 open enrollment students, which has kept our population fluid and allowed us to be financially stable. We employ 120 certified employees, 90 classified staff, and 11 administrators, with 26 total buses. I will speak more about transportation in one moment. In regards to food service, breakfast and lunch is offered daily. 38,156 breakfasts were served last year, 140,000 lunches last year, for a total of 178,216 meals. We serve approximately 4,950 meals per week. We offer a variety of vegetables from five different subgroups. 100% of grains offered are whole grains. We comply to the government standards. Vending and snack offerings are compliant with the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. And the food service is self-supporting. Note, there are no general fund dollars into the food service. We are very proud of that and their accomplishments. In terms of transportation, we do have 26 total buses, 18 of them run routes. We transport 1,300 students daily and drive 1,800 miles a day. In 2013-14, our total mileage was 452,176. So with a district this size, we do a fantastic job of meeting all corners of that 94 square miles. In terms of enrollment, we have shrunk over the last several years. Looking at this graph essentially shows you the enrollment in each grade. The red bar is the district enrollment, while the blue bar is the open enrollment. So as you can see, we have a decent number of open enrolled students in each grade level. 